This is extremely sad uh, scenario wherein the governing council and we want to question the fact that Terry has now tried to put a new post. I am saying this post never existed. The executive vice chairman, there was no such designation ever. Terry never had an executive vice chairman. So a new term has been coined to give the comfort to Mr. Pachauri that oh you have a big huge designation. Earlier you were the director general. Now you are the executive vice chairman. Terry should answer a few questions. Firstly, who was the earlier executive vice chairman and when did he resign or when did he step down? Secondly, what are the powers and functions of executive vice chairman? They should be defined. There has to be a transparency. You are sitting on government allotted land. You are answerable and you are, have to be transparent. You should inform the public that yes, Mr. R.K. Pachauri's powers of functions would be these, his duties would be these and his remuneration is XYZ. What has Mr. Pachauri been paid ever till date is a question as a Director General and what are his remunerations now? The press is raising a hue and cry that Mr. Pachauri has been promoted. I am saying I am not sure whether he has been promoted or not. I want Terry to come and make a statement whether Pachauri has been promoted or not. Well, maybe he is demoted. Maybe his salary has been re reduced. Maybe his remuneration has been reduced. Maybe his powers and functions have been reduced. At least come out and make a statement. Na? Inform, state to the public that this is what the fact is. And if it has increased, inform the public that yes, we have provided him more salary, more remuneration, we have given him more powers, he is such a fantastic individual that a sexual harassment investigation is going on. That doesn't matter, but he will continue with his fifth floor office. Make a statement that he is no longer in the fifth floor, same office, same room. Make a statement that the new director general is not on the second floor. We will be fine. We are not raising a hue and cry here. We are just questioning. We want answers from Terry. Terry is absolutely silent. The governing council is absolutely silent. Who has appointed him? Where is that appointment letter? Who has signed those that letter that he is the new executive vice chairman? We want those questions. And that is why we are at pain. We are hurt because there is no response from Terry. I want the governing council to at least please inform us that how many times you people made a telephone call, wrote a letter, wrote an email to the victim or called her to your meeting or had a webcam uh, installed with her to have a web interview during one of your meetings. The beta don't worry. You've been an employee of Terry. You'll be well taken care of. Do not worry. And we will be fair and we will let fair investigation be carried out. Not one statement by the governing council of